Maroga Shudori Allah Karabaha Dari 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 What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is everywhere King Jesus can rule and reign. So when we say we seek His kingdom first and all His righteousness, it means God, we, we are opening our life so that you can come and rule and reign in my character, in how I live, how I respond, in how I love, in my marriage, in my relationship, in my business, in the marketplace, in the campus. Jesus, you come and rule and reign in my life. How many of you want to allow Him to come and rule. See, God respond as we respond. He, that He will grant you that you will have understanding, a revelation of the width, of the length, of the depth, of the height, of the love of Christ, that He could fill you with the fullness of God. See, God responds if our desire, our direction is in that area. How many of you want Jesus to reign in your life. Amen. One more time. Why don't we just sing it? Hallelujah. Our God reign. Just tell Him this evening. Just, just begin to pray in the spirit right now. Those of you at home, just open your mouth and begin to pray. We can cry out to God. We can reach out to Him. 
Heaven is open this evening. Hallelujah. Just open your mouth and begin to pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we praise you. Come and reign. Come and rule in our lives. Hallelujah. I wonder how many of you tonight say, Jesus, I want you to rule and reign in the way I live my life. You have an anger problem that you cannot bring under control. There are a lot of frustration, a lot of bitterness, a lot of resentment. Maybe you're impatient. Maybe you need gentleness. Maybe you need kindness. Maybe there are areas in your life, the, the working checklist that the Bible has given to us, the character profile of Jesus. You say, Lord, I fall short of that. I have not been focusing on that. I focus on the external, but I neglected the internal. I'm so busy with so many things, but I have not tended to my own vineyard. And tonight you say, God, I want you to do a work in my life. I want you to change me to make me more like Jesus. Every night when I come home from work, let it be that my children, my family members, my spouse will look as if Jesus just walked right in. Every day when I go to the office, it will be as if they see Jesus walking in. Help me, Lord, to be more like you. I want to be intentional in cultivating Christ-likeness in 2021. How many of you say, Pastor, that's me? If that's you, we just lift up your hands all over this room right now. That's right. What is that one area you need to surrender to God? Is it impatience? Is it a lack of gentleness? Is it anger and frustration? Will you surrender to God today? How many of you, maybe you say this year, I, I need to love unconditionally more and more. I need to love like Jesus. I need to be able to come to the place of agape love where I can love without expecting a positive response and I will still love and I will forgive I will derive joy and satisfaction from God because I know I'm loving the way He loves I'm loving the way heaven loves I'm, I'm walking in the atmosphere of heaven sometimes you're so frustrated because we don't feel appreciated we don't feel appreciated in our workplace we don't feel appreciated at home we don't feel appreciated in our marriage we don't feel appreciated in ministry, in church, in a cell group, and there's a lot of anger and frustration. Today, surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it. Today, you say, Jesus, I'm coming up higher. I want to love the way you love. I want to live the way you live. If that's you, wherever you are, just lift up your hands right now, all over this room. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Everyone sing. Hallelujah. third thing, the third part of this vision that God has for us for 2021. And that is we're going to be a disciple and a follower of Jesus. Yes, we want success. Yes, we want favor. We want promotion. We want 2021 to be better than 2020. We want to be debt free. We want to come to a place where we are living in the blessing and abundance of God. Yes. But we don't want a success to come from Satan. We don't want a success that comes from the devil. A success that will cause us to stray in our hearts. A success that will make us hush and bitter. A success that will make us losing our consecration. We say, Jesus, I want a success that comes from heaven. I want a success that's a result of me seeking your kingdom and your righteousness first. That this success it's an addition from the presence of the Lord. I'm not focusing on it, but it comes as a blessing because my focus is on you. Yes. And this is whether you're, whether you're here on site or you're at home watching on the internet, this is for you. Don't be fixated by money, fame and riches and wealth. 
all those things they are blessings from the Lord but you got to make sure that really comes from God how many of you say God I, I want to deny myself every self-indulgent habit every selfish prideful greedy desire I surrender to Jesus today you want to be a disciple of the Lord you want to be a disciple of the Lord if that's you wherever you are just lift up your hands one more time right hallelujah I want everybody everyone say this prayer out loud together with me say dear Heavenly Father dear Heavenly Father I want to embrace your vision I want to embrace your vision this year I want to be more like Jesus this year I want to be more like Jesus I want to see the fruit of the Spirit I want to see the fruit of the Spirit growing in my life growing in my life I want to love unconditionally I want to love unconditionally to love like Jesus to love like Jesus at home at home in my marriage in my marriage in my relationships in my relationships let loving alone be enough let loving alone be enough Help me to be forgiving. Help me to be forgiving. To be patient and kind. To be patient and kind. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. Help me to be a disciple. Help me to be a disciple. Help me to follow Jesus every day. Help me to follow Jesus every day. I deny every pride. I deny every pride. Every greed. Every greed. Every lust. Every lust. Every envy. Every envy. I embrace your glory. I embrace your glory. I embrace your presence. I embrace your presence. Lift up your hands and talk to God right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot sing, but we can pray. All over this room, just open your mouth and pray. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, help us, Lord. Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us to be more like you. Help our cell group to be more Christ-like. Help us, oh God, to love one another unconditionally. Help us this year to follow Jesus. Let the blessing, the promotion, the favor come from you. Our focus is on the Lord. Our focus is on your will. Not my will, but yours be done. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Help us all to be more and more like you. Every single person, every brother, every sister in this place, those that are watching on the internet, I pray this year, oh God, help us really to manage our anger. Help us to manage our frustration. Help us, oh God, this year to be kinder, to be gentler. Help us this year to be patient. Help us to season our words with salt, with lots of love. Help us to always be encouraging. Take away every negative attitude in our hearts. Lord, I just pray 2021, we will always believe the best in one another, hoping for the best, believing and trusting and praying for the best in each other. Lord, I pray this year, let there be the agape love overflowing, overflowing from the deep within us, overflowing in our marriage, in our relationship, in our family life. Lord, I just pray, take away all the frustration, all the anger. Once again, I pray, let the love flow. Let the love of God flow upon every marriage right now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
unconditional love, unconditional love. Lord, unconditional forgiveness. We constantly walk in the atmosphere of forgiveness. Father, I pray this year, raise a more marketplace disciples. Lord, this year, we are different. We are different to make a difference. Yes. Lord, we are salt and light in this world. I pray, let there be a new consecration from the front to the back upon everyone that's watching on the internet right now. Yes. On every family represented, every cell group represented, we don't live, we declare we don't live for fame or riches, for popularity, for money. Lord, we live for the Lord. We live for the gospel. Yes, Lord. Help us to be more like you, we pray. Just pray in tongues right now. Just pray a little bit more. Shuduria la karabaha deria la karabaha deria la karabaha deria. Shuduria la karabaha deria. Just press into God. Something is happening. Those of you on the uh, online, just pray, just pray, just pray. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shuduria la karabaha deria la karabaha deria la karabaha deria. Oh God, oh God, fill us with the fullness of God, with all the fullness of God. Jesus, make us more like you. One last time we sing. Oh, hallelujah, our God reigns. Lift up your hands, lift up your hearts. Oh, hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Forever. Give the Lord a big hand. Hallelujah. The Bible says, clap your hands on your people. Come on, let's give him a big clap offering. It's deep calling unto the deep. Lord, we respond to all you are. We respond to who you are. Let's sing it one last time. One last time. Hallelujah. Will you just fist bump your neighbors on your left and right and say, this is going to be your best year yet. Just tell them that right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you.